Now in better health, we hear how post-surgery recovery has improved under the ERAS program. Yeah, I'm Anne Patton, the ERAS nurse for um, Dunedin Hospital. I'm Jill Fuster and I work at the Southland Hospital. I've um, been here approximately six years now on the surgical ward. My name's Kim Snoop and I'm the ERAS nurse for the Southland Hospital um, and I'm based in the surgical ward. ERAS is enhanced recovery after surgery and that's actually trying to have the patient in better condition before their surgery, during their surgery and afterwards and um, it tries to minimise the risk of complications for them. Basically designed to get our bowel patients up and running quicker. The key factors that are put in place is that they get good education prior to coming in. Um, it focuses on um, them getting early mobilisation. Enhanced recovery for them, um, quicker discharges. And reducing the risk of the complications of their, of their stay. So before a, a patient uh, comes into surgery, they go to a pre-admission clinic. And what happens there is they come to um, an extensive education session with me. And often they bring along their partner or a support person. And we go through every step of what happens um, during their stay in hospital. So when I was diagnosed with the um, cancer, um, Kim came on board and um, had to go and see her and she explained it to my partner and myself um, all about what the process was going to be and uh, where we were at and what was going to happen and which was that was very informative and it was really good. And we give them a, um, a handbook um, which shows them everything that happens from um, pre-admission right through to their discharge. It's a guideline and it's individually based. So we went home to recoup and um, had a plan of what was going to happen and she kept in touch with us weekly sort of thing till we ended up getting a date to get, have the operation and uh, come into the hospital and she was there to greet me with her cheery smile and um, we took it from there basically and um, had the operation and uh, the next day she was there getting me out of bed basically, to go walk, you know, <laughs> it, was, it was good. We found now that patients are much more inf informed pre-surgery, um, more motivated so prior to even coming into hospital they have to go on a special diet and then they have to um, take a bowel prep sometimes, um, sometimes not. They've got much more ownership I think of their condition than they did before because of the information pre-surgery. And then they have what we call a fluid loading program because what often happens is a patient because um, in the past they used to be nil by mouth from midnight the night before um, this time they are allowed to drink right up to two hours prior to their surgery. So they haven't got that sort of nutritional deficit perhaps that they had before. We've changed about 15 um, processes that, that happen to the um, patients as they come through. We get all patients up and about earlier but we really encourage the ERAS patients to get out of their room. They have a diary that they um, fill out so it gives them involvement in, in their own recovery post-surgery so they can see going by filling out the door at diary like on day one they might only do one walk give it on day two that they might in increase that and say yeah we've done three walks today. Um, we check now and then what they've written how they're going but once again they seem to have taken ownership of it and do it quite willingly. Most of them are embracing it they do have some days especially around day three where Maybe their bowel hasn't started working, they haven't passed one, they're a bit grumpy with you or whatever, um, but you talk them through, you have a really good rapport with them and you're a real support person for their family and for them. Over the last year that this project's been going, we have reduced the length of stay by one day. Um, patients are feeling better um, when they go home. Um, their recovery time seems to be quicker. The large majority are really amazed what they can do and they're doing really well. Some are even driving on day seven that have been discharged on day five. For staff, um, there is a clear communication within the multidisciplinary team. Um, they have a pathway that they can follow. The Ministry are really happy and want it to be ongoing, not just as a project, but ongoing up and down the country because of the they recognise the benefits for the patient and every patient does benefit from it, they really do. Yeah, the Eros pathway is, um, to, to me was very good, as I say, gave me and my family um, an idea of what was happening, support and everything like that. At, at the end of it um, we all felt 
very comfortable with where we're at and um, everybody sort of knew what was going on and what the care was going to be and where we're going from there. And if we had any questions, um, you know, just ring your Eros nurse and, you know, it was answered. It's great. Now on Better Health, we're going to give you a look at some of the wonderful fundraising activities underway.